Quai is a multi-blockchain network. It does not pose itself as an Ethereum killer, although it does have uh, lower gas fees and higher throughput, and yada 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 as all Ethereum killers. However, it is just something different. Many people in the industry are talking about the multi-chain future of Web3, how all the chains are going to act together and interact via bridges or some other way. At the moment, we do have these bridges, but that is actually the weak point of most contracts because that's where the hacker attacks go and that's the easiest way to attack and that's where the money usually leaks from. Another way of chain interaction is via an ecosystem. For example, we have Polkadot. That was actually the first project I thought about as a competitor for Quai Network. Polkadot works by a, a being a relay chain, so like a motherboard for the computer. And all the power chains are being connected to it and they all perform different functions. And they can all, if they want to, function as a single unit. So for example, you can create some application that uses all the different power chains and they all communicate via Polkadot network and you create something like grand and grandiose. However, those power chains, they are more like, they're on the same level. And in Kwai network, this structure is not the same level, this structure is hierarchical. So in a quiet network, you also have the multiple blockchains, but there is one main one and there are a few more connected to it, so actually three. So at the moment how it works, there is one prime blockchain, there are three more chains connected to it and to that one there are three more connected. So there is like first layer, one chain, second layer, three chains, and then another layer of nine chains. So it is all one layer, but it kind of functions as a three layer system. Another big difference between the two apart from structure is the consensus they to utilize. So Polkadot based on the proof of stake and Quai Network is based on proof of work 2.0. That's a new consensus that allows for merged mining and that's the main key feature of a Quai Network. Merged mining basically means shared hash rate between the blockchains. So that's actually by doing work for one blockchain you're also doing work for all the other ones that are connected to it. So for example, as I said initially, there is a setup of 13 blockchains in the Quai network. And by doing uh, the work for one, you're also doing the work for all of them. So it is more eco-friendly and more efficient than the normal proof of work consensus. From this, it follows that there are also coincidental or shared blocks between the blockchains. So basically, when you mine one block for some blockchain at the top, let's say, all the chains lower in the hierarchy also are going to have that block at certain time state. These coincidental blocks are the interaction points between the blockchains, so they are like the little bridges between them, but they are actually truly decentralized because they are also on layer 1. The cool thing here is that it is not exclusive for the internal blockchains. So by mining, let's say, Ethereum or Bitcoin, or there are also some other compatible blockchains, you are also mining for the Quai network. And this just shares the workload and it is much more efficient overall. At the moment, Quai plans to have 13 blockchains in its network. However, this number can increase to more, but there is going to be a privacy concern because of how much work and how many blocks are shared between the different blockchains. And the more blockchains share the same block, the more dangerous it is. So there needs to be a balance between how much work can be shared for efficiency and how many it is safe to have. So this is horizontal type of scaling and that's what I see to be the main trend actually with the new projects that are emerging. Solana for example has parallel execution and some other blockchains are DAG based which means that several blocks are mined at the same time. Quai Network is going to have five incentivized testnets. Two of them have already passed successfully and the third one was about to launch on the 8th of July. However, the developers decided that it was not ready yet to be launched for the community, so they are postponing it for the indefinite amount of time. However, we are expecting it to be soon, and uh, you can watch the announcements in the Discord. On Discord, you can also find the planned rewards for this testnet. 12 million of overall Quai tokens are going to be distributed, 8 million for the miners and 4 million for the developers. Other non-technical things you can do for the Quai network is to participate in the ambassador program. However, be quick there because the applications are closing soon. And a second thing is to participate in the community engagement program. There you can earn up to 10 Quai tokens for retweeting, liking and posting your own tweets about the Quai network. Participation in this one is very easy and I will leave the link for it in the description. Let's finally talk the investors and tokenomics of the project. $10 million has been invested into it by the Polychain Capital and some of that money has been added by the Alumni Ventures and the full tokenomics paper has not been released yet, however there is some information, there is like a draft diagram for it. 
And of course, the main idea is to increase the adoption because they want to be adopted not just by the typical technical blockchain users, but they really want to bridge this to further on communities. That's how they justify having 25% for their adoption incentives. Mining is for 20% and foundation for 15, strategic partners 15, bounties 5%, founders 5%, testnet incentives are 0.5%. So that's also important to keep in mind, sensible to me. Nothing is known about the vesting schedules. However, I expect them to be quite large, measured probably in one year or up to several years, based on what the CEO said in one of the interviews, how they want to be a project not just good for one year or several years, but for 40 years or more. And of course, every project want to be that way. But for this project, it actually makes sense because it is more suited for the future needs of the Web3 and not of the, for the current needs that we have, because their adoption is not on a large enough scale and we need more people to start using the blockchain uh, and crypto in general to just utilize the 7,000 transactions per second that they are trying to offer to us. Long lasting, probably something more for the future. Wait and see what happens with it. That was it for the project. There are several ways to participate. Join the Discord and hop in there if you have any questions or if you have uh, them, and I probably can answer them too. You can leave them in the comments. See you in the next one.